Hello friends, welcome to the IT Buddies channel. In this video, we are going to build this meme generator project. So with this, you can get any of this image and you can create your own meme by our React project. So here you can see there is a lots of images and whenever I click on load 10 more memes, you can see here our new memes is added successfully. Now inside our top text, I write Binod. This is our trending meme and just for fun, here I write Rashiban. And now I want to click on this meme and you can see here our meme is generated successfully inside our my memes success is true and this is our URL now we have to copy this and paste here you can see here this is our own meme that we have to create with this react project so if you want to create any of this meme by choosing any of this meme image and after then what you can share this meme with your friends on your social media so stay tuned now let's move to our coding part now the time is come to get our react project folder so this is our project based on meme so i write here create react app the name is totally up to you i write here meme now press enter here this process takes some time so i want to speed up this process you can see here meme project folder is added successfully so now we have to move inside our folder so i write here cd meme now we have to install some of the dependencies so i write here npm install dash dash save and our dependencies name is redux react redux react bootstrap And the last one is Redux Tongue. This Redux Tongue's middleware allow you to write action creators that return a function instead of an action. So now we have to press enter here. Now after importing some dependencies, we have to go inside our folder. And inside this source, I want to delete all of this file instead of this index.js because we want to do project with scratch. So now delete this file instead of this index.js now react is all about components so we have to make our component inside our source folder the so components folder is added here and our first component name is app.js here we have to write some basic stuff so first we have to import react and component from react and we have to use this class based component so class app extends component first we have to render then return instead of this div here we have to write welcome message after that we have to use this app.js file inside this index.js so we have to export this file so right here export default now the class name is app now we have to save this inside this index.js we have to remove some stuff like index.css because we deleted that file also this command and strict mode and we have to import this app from these components so here we have to write components now save this file and to start our react app we have to write here npm start now our chrome browser is open automatically here you can see there is an error because here we have to remove this file so now save this and I think a welcome message is showing successfully. So yes, because inside our app.js file, 
and inside this div tag we have to write welcome to generate any kind of meme we have to use this website called image flip because this website helps us with their api so we have to use inside our project so we can generate any meme customly now we have to go inside this official website of image flip so here i want to go inside this login button because i already have an account if you doesn't have any account yet then you have to go inside this sign up so i want to speed up this process of this login so here you can see i already log in with my username joel underscore seven seven zero one and after that login we have to go inside our project now inside this source folder we have to create another folder called actions inside that we have to create another file called secrets.js because inside that we have to write our username and password of that image flip website now write here const username to store our username and for password we have to write this password after that we want to use this so i want to export this username and password now here you have to write your username and your password i don't want to show my username and password so i do this process offline after writing your username and password we have to go inside this actions folder and create another file called index.js to access our api from that website now our first action name is receive memes and i want to export that so export const and name is totally up to you receive memes after that our function for receive memes inside that we have to pass our json and i want to get the json inside our memes so json dot data and we have to return our array so if type is equal to receive memes then we have to get our memes now remember by the help of this receive memes function we have to get this json data that our image flip website provide us and after getting that data we have to pass inside this variable called memes and if our action type is receive memes then we have to get that memes by returning now for fetching memes we have to assign our method asynchronously so for that we have to use two event listener first is for our receive memes and second is for our logic now our first function name is fetch memes json inside that we have to write our website link so return fetch and i want to paste that link that is https api.imageflip.com and for getting our memes we have to write here get underscore memes after that we have to write our promise so here we have to pass our response response.json and this is our function so now another function name is fetch memes the name is totally up to you inside that first we have to pass our method that is dispatch so return function dispatch remember dispatch is the method used to dispatch actions and trigger state changes to the store so after that return we have to call our this second function 
that is fetch means json and inside that we have to write another promise so dot then the format is json and dispatch receive memes this is our action types function and here we have to pass our json data you might be wondering because this is some kind of difficult for adding two event listener inside our actions so remember first is for our receive memes to get our json data and second is for our website link that we have to get from image flip and second function is for dispatch and call this function so we have to get our memes this all critical stuff is for our logic so now we have to create a new folder inside this source for our reducers inside that i want to create a new file called index.js and first we have to import combine reducer from redux and second is for our receive memes action so import receive memes from our actions and remember the reducer is a pure function that takes the previous state and an action and returns the next state so here i create a function call memes and here we have to write our state by default it is empty and we have to pass state and action inside our meme and if our action type will be receive memes so case receive memes then we have to return our action so return action dot meme and by default we have to pass our state so return state now we have to use this combined reducers terminology so for that i create a variable called root reducer inside that we have to combine our all reducers method so here only one that is memes function and after that we have to export our root reducer so export default root reducer now save this now go inside this index.js file and first we have to import that so import first is create store we create this store because we have to pass our store inside our provider so this is from redux and we also have to import that provider from react redux this provider will combine our react and redux terminology together after that we have to import our root reducer that is inside our reducers so here reducers now create our store inside that we have to pass our reducers so that is root reducer and we have to wrap up this app component inside our provider so provider and remove this and write here now we also have to import that fetch memes so import fetch memes that is inside our actions so from 
actions and we also have to use that subscribe method so first store dot subscribe by use this subscribe method we have to print our log so we can get idea about what happening with our state so subscribe console dot log i want to print store here by getting the store dot get state store dot get state now save this and finally we have to write that dispatch so store dot dispatch and fetch memes now save this and open your browser here is an error receive memes is undefined so i write here receive memes and there is an typo receive memes so we have to go inside this action and we have to correct this issue spelling so receive and this is not capital now save this and go inside our browser again receive memes is not defined because we also have to correct this now save this and here you can see import in the body of module so inside this index.js we have to go inside sorry we have to import this about this create store so now save this and here is a huge error for this async action so we have to apply our redux thunk terminology then import thunk from redux thunk remember our error is use custom middleware for async actions because we use our event listener asynchronously inside our actions file so to pass our event listener we have to use this thunk so we also have to import our apply middleware method that our redux provide us and with this root reducer we also have to pass that apply middleware and here we have to pass our thong terminology now save this open your browser and here you can see get state is undefined because we forget to pass our store inside our provider because we create the store now save this here you can see welcome message is showing successfully now and now we have to go inside this console and inside our store we can get our memes that our image flip website provide us so you can see here a lot of memes we are getting inside our project now let's take a quick pause here here we generate a lots of memes inside our project so in the very next video we are redirecting or you can say listing that memes in the client side from the server side so stay tuned and if you want to continue with this project then you can check my description i will add the part 2 video link whenever i will upload the part 2 so thank you and bye bye